A 71-year-old man was transplanted with the liver of a genetically modified pig. Chinese researchers performed the first ever transplantation of a liver taken from a genetically modified pig to a 71-year-old man. The transplant took place two weeks ago and, according to doctors, the patient is feeling well and recovering. A 71-year-old man from China became the first person to receive a liver transplant from a genetically modified pig and the fifth person to receive a pig organ transplant. Previously, surgeons transplanted the hearts, kidneys, and thymus of genetically modified animals into four people. In three cases, the recipients died a few months after the transplant. According to scientists, their previous poor health condition, which allowed them to qualify as candidates for a pig organ transplant, makes it difficult to determine what exactly was the cause of death. Regardless, these first examples of xenotransplantation as organ or tissue transplants from an individual of another species are called, taught scientists a valuable lesson and allowed them to obtain important information about the feasibility of xenotransplantation. Doctors hope that one day this procedure could provide organs to the thousands of people who die each year waiting for an organ. The shortage of organs and tissues needed for transplantation has long been one of the most significant and unmet medical problems. The waiting lists in every center that offers transplantation are long and the vast majority of patients cannot wait to find a suitable donor. Thousands of patients die every year because of this. The best human organ donors are other people, and pigs. Research on xenografts has been conducted for years. While this may seem like something out of a horror movie, it is actually a huge step towards increasing the pool of organs available for transplantation and could address the shortage of human organs in the future. Contrary to appearances, human genetic material does not differ significantly from pig genetic material. The size of the organs and the mechanism of action are also appropriate. Attempts to transplant organs from animals to humans have failed because our immune systems immediately destroy the foreign tissue. Now scientists are trying to use genetically modified pigs. Work on liver xenograft has been going on for some time. In January, a U.S. team connected a genetically modified pig liver outside the body to a brain-dead person. In March, Chinese researchers transplanted a modified pig liver with the family's consent to a person who was clinically dead. The liver remained in the body for 10 days and showed no signs of rejection. The 71-year-old pig organ recipient had a large tumor on the right lobe of his liver that had not yet spread to other parts of his body. As in previous xenotransplantation cases, the man was not eligible for a traditional human liver transplant. His results did not give much hope for a successful outcome of the operation and every available human organ is very valuable and is donated to people who have the best chance of survival. The situation was dangerous. Doctors didn't know when the tumor would burst. With few options, the patient and his family agreed to xenotransplantation. The operation, which lasted 8 hours, was performed by Sun Baikin from the first affiliated hospital of Anhui Medical University in China. Surgeons removed the man's right lobe of liver and replaced it with a 514 gram liver from an 11 month old miniature pig that weighed 32 kilograms. The pig has undergone 10 genetic modifications. All this to prevent the recipient's body from rejecting her organs. A herd of modified pigs is bred at Yunnan Agricultural University in Kunming, China. The team of scientists responsible deactivated three genes that contribute to the production of sugars on the surface of pig cells, 
which the human immune system attacks. The researchers also introduced seven genes that produce human proteins. As Sun admitted, in tests of the pig liver, the team did not detect the presence of porcine cytomegalovirus, which may have contributed to complications in the pig heart recipient, who died two months after the procedure. When surgeons restored blood flow to the transplanted pig's liver, it immediately began secreting bile. Bile production, which was 10 milliliters on the first day, gradually increased to 200-300 ml on the 13th day, a healthy person secretes at least 400 ml of bile per day. Sun said he saw no signs of organ rejection. So far, two heart transplants have been performed from genetically modified pigs. The first patient, David Bennett, died two months after the transplant. He did well at first. He started physical therapy to regain his strength, spent time with his family, there were no signs of cardiac rejection. But after about six weeks his condition worsened and he died a few days later. The hospital said in a statement that the patient died due to multiple factors and general poor health. Then it turned out that the transplanted heart contained the aforementioned cytomegalovirus, which could have played a large role in the patient's death. The second patient, Lawrence Fawcett, lived with a pig heart for about six weeks. Doctors from the University of Maryland Medical Center, where the transplant was performed, wrote in a statement that the patient made significant progress after the surgery and underwent physical therapy. But a few days before his death, the first signs of rejection of the pig heart began to appear. The medical team did everything they could, but they could not save the man's life. In March this year, a modified pig kidney was transplanted into a living person for the first time. The recipient, 62-year-old Richard Slayman, suffered from end-stage kidney disease. In addition, he also suffered from type 2 diabetes and hypertension. In 2018, he underwent a human kidney transplant, but after five years the organ began to show signs of failure. Doctors said he had no chance of receiving a human organ. After the operation, the patient felt well. He showed no signs of organ rejection. Doctors hoped the pig kidney would last at least two years. Unfortunately, less than two months after the transplant, the patient died. Doctors said in a statement that there was no indication that this was a result of his recent transplant. In mid-April, a pig kidney and thymus transplantation operation was performed. The patient, a 54-year-old woman with heart and kidney failure, is feeling well after the surgery and is recovering.